All right, so today is the 15th, September 15th, and we have some more, uh, some more clues about the Bamboo Lab uh, September 20th release. Now, so far, we have the color for everyone. We have the, uh, the two tweets, the active, um, what is it, the active motor noise canceling, and the third one was uh, rethinking the dynamic flow calibration, right? Well, now we have another tweet, and this one, uh, it's, a, it's a, a quick swap revolution. You can see there that on one side, they're showing the tools, and it looks like the tools that are necessary to, uh, to swap out uh, a hot end, right? I mean, you can, see the, you can see the fan there, the cable there, well, that's, it looks like a, a heater block. Tweezers, just all the stuff, even uh, some thermal, uh, some thermal grease in there for the, for, for the heat block. And I don't see a thermistor on there though, but I still think it's what's going to be used to, uh, to remove a, a hot end. So is that what is that what they're touting? Is that uh, is it going to be uh, a, a toolless design or some kind of quick disconnect on there? I mean, it could be even be magnetic. If it is magnetic, it better be a pretty freaking strong magnet, right? Because, uh, and I know Bamboo Lab, they do use a lot of magnets, but but it's all on the covers. Uh, stuff that doesn't take a, a, a real heavy load, right? Um, so if, if it's going to be a quick release hot end on there, if it's going to be magnetic, it better be freaking strong because... Uh, I guess the only force that would really be on it is uh, the downward force from filament and then when it's cleaning off the nozzle, right? It, it goes through some crap there, right? Um, and if it's not magnetic, maybe it's a dovetail design or something that's quick disconnect, right? But now there's a, a new smaller build plate. It, it's been appearing on, on different websites and different forums and stuff. Is this going to be the, the new smaller build plate for the A1? I kind of hope not. <laughs> uh, I would rather see a plate of the same size or larger. I mean, after all, uh, some of the, uh, I guess some of Bamboo Labs, the, the competition, they're, they're coming out with, uh, they're starting to clone, you know, the X1 and the P1 series and stuff like that, but they're also coming out with the larger build volumes. You know, even like... Uh, you know, the Creality K1 Max, uh, what is it, the KD, uh, I forgot what model it is, uh, let's see, I wrote them down here, yeah, the KD X Plus 3, I believe, uh, Flash Forge is coming out with one, and I think even, I saw some uh, news flash about two trees, uh, but everybody, the bottom line, everybody's coming out cloning uh, the Bamboo Lab stuff, but they're coming out with the larger versions already. So I think Bamboo Lab just really needs to come out with the larger version. Uh, it's going to be, you know, competitor driven. But, but that's just my opinion, right? I mean, there's some smaller printers out there that are really popular. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's like uh, the Creality has the, that mini Ender 2 Pro. And some guys have really liked that. And Prusa has uh, that original Mini Plus. And, you know, some, some people love those things. I guess they, you know, they, they like that smaller build. Um, you know, they're just doing smaller parts, and it's probably a lot quicker. It takes up a whole lot less uh, footprint on your desk or work table or whatever. Uh, but if you look at that... Both of those are bed slingers, right? So is is a a bed slinger still uh, a possibility? So there has been uh, some debate going on about uh, the Bamboo Labs' original goals. I think they had five goals, uh, and that first on the list is uh, no more bed slingers, right? <laughs> Uh, so is that still a, a main point, a main goal, is to do away with bed slingers? Uh, and if, if so, then the A1 is, is going to be a smaller form factor, probably Core XY uh, printer, right? Just smaller. Looking down at some of the other 
points here. Uh, the next in line, let's see that sleep soundly during overnight prints. Well, <laughs> they kind of blew that one, right? It was uh, uh, the, that recent core uh, the cloud debacle that, well, uh, some guys had some unwanted prints or uh, duplicate prints that were shoved through while they were asleep and it did some damage. It did some uh, uh, parts damage, some printer damage and all that good stuff. So let's hope that doesn't happen again, but uh, it already failed. So I'm going to scratch that off the list. All right. The next one I'm going to look at, it says a stiff PACF parts for my Nerf Blaster. Uh, well, technically the PACF uh, was discontinued, right? Um, of course, it, it was replaced with a, a, a different nylon filament, and you can get other nylon filaments out there, but technically the PACF uh, was discontinued. So I'm going to scratch that off the list too. So with this PACF being replaced and, uh, and the sleeping soundly bit has started over, I guess you can count it in a number of days or months that, you know, that it hasn't happened. But those two are basically scratched off. They've changed. The goals have changed. So is it really far-fetched that uh, that very first one, no more bed slingers? Well, is it, could that change, right? After all, it's, it's, it's really what the market wants, right? You change, just like any business plan. Uh, business plans changed all the time. And, and your goals and your, your paradigms need to change when you're in, in any kind of technology or market-driven you know, business plan, right? So I don't think it's out of the question. Um, but we will see. So that was just a quick update that I have uh, and still my opinions. I, I think the... The, the bed slinger option eh, is kind of leaning towards uh, a smaller uh, Core XY printer now, but it's still not off the block, right? But I guess that's it. So, well, they still have a few more days before the, the official release. And if I hear of any other uh, clue or, uh, or leak or anything like that, then... Uh, then I'll put another video and give, you know, and show what's going on before the release. Until then, I guess just uh, subscribe and uh, watch for my next video. So we'll see you.